Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stocks, which is about 5.43 on Wednesday evening. Wow, what a last 48 hours, I mean, 24 hours. I mean, the market has just collapsed here, and I've just called trade after trade after trade, and I'm really on vacation this week, but I didn't, I didn't leave New York, and so obviously, here I am. I mean, I'm seeing these things are just falling into my lap, and all of a sudden, boom. So let's go over it. So we're down here tonight. Okay, so here's the story. So yesterday, 528, I called. Let me just give you the exact time. In the afternoon, 227 in the afternoon, I called the puts. Let's find it here here in the diamonds. I saw we were falling, we would fall, we fell. Okay, so this fell into the area on, what was yesterday, Tuesday? Yeah, yesterday was Tuesday because of the holiday. So essentially it was Monday in the market, but really Tuesday. So I called the 255 puts and we fell right into it. Closed, we were up on the trade if you did it, into the, into the close, and then we fell even more. We got down this morning, here's the open, and we actually opened today $3 almost through the strike. Unbelievable. So a lot of people got out of that trade, they bought the 255 puts, and then they exited the trade into the open because they were up, and you would have been up if you had done it when I called it yesterday, you would have been up immediately into the open. Again, there's, there's I must stress, there's no bad exits on any of these trades that I'm calling. People are starting to get greedy, and I see the writing on the wall. People are trying to predict the lows in these shorts or the highs and the longs. I'm telling you, you, you cannot worry about that stuff. You have one objective, and I'm saying this to everybody that's on the options letter in the trading room. I'm calling fantastic trades. It's literally almost like every trade is working, but you cannot get greedy. But don't forget, you're doing this to make money. You're never gonna predict the low in a short, and you're never gonna predict the high in a long. You have one goal, make money, make money, make money, make money. So for the people that got out in the open, it was a great trade. If you let it follow through into the drop down here, although the day was 249.48, that was a great trade. It dropped more than $5 through the strike. Okay, this is the one that I called on Monday, the 28th. Anyways, then I called another round of trades this morning I had to wait to watch it, called them right away, sent into the open. I called another trade in the diamonds and a bunch of other things too. So 12 trades in the last 48 hours or 24 hours or whatever since Tuesday through Wednesday. And that worked too. And if you're still in that, that's out longer. And if you're in that, that's fine. If you're holding it, fine. But anyways, the point I'm trying to make here is that you have to read price action. That's the point that I'm, I'm gonna make tonight. The point of tonight's lecture here is reading price action is imperative. Taking profits is imperative. Everyone's up no matter when you did it and if, even if you're still in it. But the fact is that don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. And at the same time, don't be so hesitant that you don't do the trades or you do them too late. Don't chase the trades. Like if I call a trade on a Tuesday and you don't do it on Tuesday, you're not gonna do it on a Wednesday, okay? You have to do the trade on the day that I call the trade itself, okay? And also, there's nothing wrong with getting out. Again, this trade gap down and follow through was up in the morning. If you didn't wanna hold it into the drop, fine. You still got out with money. Anyways, I have no idea now at this point where we gap tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's Thursday, we have two solid full more days left in the week, and anything could happen. The chances of us recovering from the sell-off though, on all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday, market was closed Monday. The chances of us recovering from the sell-off Thursday, Friday are you know, slim to none. I'm not saying that we don't recover. I'm saying that it's a slim chance that we recover and if we attempt at a recovery, it's probably gonna be a pathetic recovery. And yet, there will be people, if we do tr attempt to recover, gap up tomorrow, there will be people that will go along the market. And I'm saying at this point now, and I've said this actually the entire month, since the first day of May, 
I, I've said this, that people really need to follow a structure and follow a system. I, I firmly believe that if you are doing something and you're losing money, that you need to stop trading. If you are doing something, if you're making money, then that's fantastic. Continue doing what you're doing. If you want to trade and you want to learn a good system that has a high win ratio, my system does, and you learn it and you do it, and you do the trades and you get out when you're up. And I think at the end of the day, people that are trading that don't know what they're doing are really getting chopped up in this market because it has had no follow through or virtually very little follow through in any two day period. Like for example, we fell yesterday and we fell today. I wouldn't be surprised if we rallied tomorrow. Does that mean we're gonna go back up to the high? Not necessarily. So this is, the market's tricky. That's the point I'm, that's the point I'm trying to make here. That the market's tricky. You have to take your profits you have to make sure that you are trading a system that works, that has a high win ratio, and not only that, trade a system. If you're trading and you don't know what you're doing, now is not the time to be trading. If you're trading and you do know what you're doing, you are making a crap load of money right now. And I have called some unbelievable trades. I mean, not unbelievable because they're 100% believable because I know what I'm doing. And my system really, really works. So for those of you that have done the class, follow the system. Don't make it hard for yourself. Get up in the morning and rate the gap. And if it rates well and it sets up, then you do it. Stop overthinking it. Stop trying to squeeze every penny out of it and get out the low if we're shorting or if get out the high if we're going long. Make money. Every trade that I've been calling is working in the last two weeks. Don't, don't try to make it more difficult than it is. Anyway, some people had just huge days, <laughs> huge days today. And uh, so I'm, I'm just very enthusiastic. I'm thrilled that people are doing so well. It's, I mean, this is gonna continue. There's, there's no end to, in sight to any res resolution for the tariff issue and no end in sight to what's gonna happen with uh, the Democrats trying to impeach Trump. And again, I didn't know Mueller was gonna talk at all this morning. I had no idea or no clue about that. But I will tell you one thing. I read the price action yesterday and Tuesday, predicted the market was lower, called the trades and called them again this morning, way before I knew when Mueller was going to talk. So you do not trade news events. You trade the price action. You do have to be able to have a strategy that tells you what that is. For me, it is the Golden Gap rating system. Follow the rating system. Follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it. Don't overthink it. Don't question it. Take the trades. Put your risk on. Be okay with the risk, whatever it is. Don't kill the trades if it don't work out. Put the stop in if you're day trading. And if you're doing the options, whatever you put on as a risk is the risk, and that's what you put on. You know? Anyways, I have no idea where we open tomorrow because we are so volatile right now. We could be down. We could be up. We could be flat. As far as the gap tomorrow, it's like so far away to even tell what's gonna happen. It's 5.51 at night. Well, I will definitely be looking at the market and rating the gap tomorrow morning on Thursday and Friday too. And if you got out of all the trades today, every one that I called, you had a fantastic day. If you're still holding some, I don't think it's a problem either. Anyways, have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the next Golden Gap course, it is June 8th and 9th. And I'm running a special offer for people that sign up for the Golden Gap course. You have until June 2nd, Sunday at midnight. You will receive the trading room and the options letter free till 8 31, 2019, August 31st. That's the whole summer in the room to get all the options calls and all the trade trades. There's people that have signed up for that that have already paid for the class. So kudos to them. Big, big week. And it's only, it's a short week, and it's two days in but I have never been more focused than I am right now. So good luck everyone. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.